What's up guys? Welcome to your 118th Android tutorial for the new Boston. And we're almost done with our SQL database, uh, but let's just check to make sure it's working. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our SQL Lite example uh, class here. And we're basically going to surround this with a try and a finally bracket, uh, just to make sure, you know, something's working here. So let's just give us some space to work and we're just going to say try here and then uh, end our try statement down here. But we're, what we're actually going to do is we're going to have a, a catch exception here, exception, and we'll call it uh, E. And then what we're going to do is we're basically going to set up a Boolean value right here. We're going to call it did it work. Um, and we're going to set it equal to be true to start with. And then if we have this catch exception, we're going to set it equal to false. So did it it work is equal to false and then what we're gonna do is have a finally bracket we're gonna have a finally bracket and if it works we're gonna set up a dialogue for the most part what we're gonna do is we're gonna display a dialogue so what we're gonna say is if did it work which is basically gonna say if it's true we're gonna do whatever is within here again and what we're gonna say is uh, create a dialogue, so we're going to say dialogue, call it D, something like that, and we're just going to say new dialogue and pass in the context uh, this for class name. And we have to import dialogue. I'm not sure if we've done dialogues yet, but it's pretty simple. Uh, we're going to set the title to uh, heck yeah, and uh, there we go and then we also need to set up a text view so we're gonna say text view TV equals uh, new text view and again pass in this for the context and we're just gonna set the text view uh, text so we're gonna set it to success and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our context um, and again, I'm sorry, for the title it needs to be in quotations for a dialogue. Then we just need to set basically uh, the dialogue content view. So we're going to say D uh, set content view and we're going to set it equal to our text view, so TB. And then we just got to display our dialogue. So I know it went kind of quickly through that, but I think at this point you guys can kind of guess or at least know what's going on for the most part. So let's just run our application and check it, make sure it works. So let's just save everything and then check our constructor. Oh, and the other thing that we need to do is since we're trying to catch some sort of exception, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our hot or not class. And basically with this open, we're going to we're going to throw an exception, like an SQL exception. And that way, if there is an exception, then our, you know, we're going to catch it, and we're just going to set this to false, and we won't display anything. Otherwise, it's going to still be equal to true, and then we're going to get this dialog success. So let's save everything and run it, and just make sure it works. Um, got errors. Sweet. Oh, I must have uh, messed up on this. So set content view there. If you guys, uh, you guys probably already caught that, but that's for SQL view class. So we're just gonna run it real quick and make sure everything works here. Uh, so we got this coming up, and then we're just gonna say, whoops. Man. All right, Travis. And you know a string would work since we, again we had this as a string value, but we're just gonna say uh, a thousand, ten thousand. That's my hotness scale. We're just gonna say update, and it looks like everything's good. It looks like it updated it. So uh, that's you know that's good. In the next few tutorials, we're gonna work with um, receiving the data and kind of a view type thing. So um, actually, we're gonna finish or we're gonna set up this intent real quick for our view class to open that up. So what you guys want to do real quickly is go into the, the the manifest and set up a class called SQL view and have a reference. Again, we we did this kind of uh, intent opening 
early on in the series but make sure you have a reference like this and again you want to copy your reference for your action name and then we're going to go into our SQL light example we're just going to set up a new intent um, I equals new intent and then within quotations we put our action name and we import intent and we also just say start activity and that will uh, that'll just open up our SQL view where we're gonna start working with that pretty soon so uh, that's it for this tutorial guys um, we just basically learned about the dialogue for the most part but uh, looks like our applications working and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial have a good one